Now tell me, do you two experts think you could finish today? Somehow, this reminds me of your last arrival at Kirin Cottage. We're only going camping for a couple of days. But that's way too short. That's why I really don't feel like going camping at all. Oh, come on. It sounded quite exciting. What with the old smugglers' what's it and all. You mean with the old derelict inn? Exactly. Which used to be a smuggler's hideout. And so close to Kirin Cottage on top of that. We might even find some old smugglers' things. Maybe yet another treasure. Don't be so negative. Give me a hand finding the tent pegs instead. Haven't I packed them already? <sighs> like I said, real experts. Come on, Anne. We'll wait for them downstairs. All right. Oh, would you be so kind and take my dog whistle along? I've been training a bit with Timmy. Sure. Where's it supposed to be? It's... Where? That's just great. Oh, here it is. The dog whistle. Do you really have to do that? Do you want to leave without the pegs? <sighs> Honestly. Calm down, here they are. Can we set off now? I don't know. There's still something missing. We still need the sleeping bags. Sleeping bags? Uh. We won't find them over here. All right, then. Start looking. Meanwhile, I'll put all the stuff back again. Honestly, the places Aunt Fanny chooses to put our things away. At long last. Don't panic. We can be off now. Off we go. Ugh! What's the matter? The backpack's awfully heavy. Hang on. I'll take the tent. That'll make the backpack lighter. Thanks. Yes. That's better. It's going to be just great. Most of all, I'm looking forward to the campfire. We'll make a really huge bonfire, all right? There won't be any grown-ups along to keep on telling us to watch out for this and that. Yes, exactly. There are batteries and matches in here. I'll take them along. I just remembered. The torch seemed very light while I was packing it away. Do you think it's got any batteries? Everything's under control now, big brother. I've got the batteries. Let's go now. About time, too. No rush, dear cousin. We're here on holiday.
Digging has always been one of my favourite pastimes. Have I ever said that before? Not the newest anymore, but it'll do for a few pegs. This shed's a real treasure trove. But I must get back to the others now. Who knows when this might come in handy? All right, I've got everything. Have we actually got some paper or a newspaper to kindle the fire? Do we? I don't think so. Oh no. Can't someone else go for a change? Come on now, Dick. I've collected a few old newspapers from the renovation work in the annex. Have a look behind the house. I think that's where I've left the cardboard box with the old papers. papers. One will do, won't it? Have you got the newspaper? Yes, I found it. Well then, there's nothing stopping you from going on your outing. Oh dear, I'm so sorry that we've got to be off now. After all, I get to spend so little time with you. I think you're taking it harder than the children, Fanny. It's only for two days after all. Shall we then? Just a moment, Georgina. I'll leave a key in the shed just in case. Are you listening? Sure, Mum. And you, Julian. You will keep an eye on the others, won't you? And don't let the fire get too big. Don't worry, we won't. You can totally depend on me, Aunt Fanny. All right then. Enjoy yourselves, children. <coughs> it's really much better than I thought. Do you know the feeling? Travelling makes you really hungry. You always find a good reason for eating, Dick. Absolutely. You better fix those tents properly, though. They don't look too firm yet. It's always good to carry a few nice stones around. Right, I'm done. Is there something to eat now? No, Greedy. I haven't yet. Look! There's someone coming! He looks... eerie, doesn't he? Afternoon all. So, who's the eldest? I might not be the oldest, but I live over there in Kirin Cottage. Then you should know that this is private property. You can't just camp out here like that. Now wait a moment. Who are you anyway? I hardly think that I owe you brats any explanations. Do you have a permit allowing you to camp here? A permit? What are you talking about? My cousin here is from Kirin Cottage, just beyond the wood. I don't give a hoot where you're from. When I'm done with my rounds, I'll come by again. Either you've disappeared by then, or you show me a permit allowing you to camp here. So what do we do now? Aunt Fanny and Uncle Quentin are bound to be gone by now. We could ask Alf. I don't know. How could he possibly help us? It was just an idea. We could ask Mrs Miller, the farmer. Not a bad idea. We could ask Mr Loomer. That's a possibility. So, who's coming? Me. 
And Timmy needs some exercise as well. You coming, Anne? Of course. When we get to the farmhouse, we can also ask for the picnic basket Mum told us about in the kitchen. Good idea. Bring me an extra large helping. Meanwhile, we'll mind the fire. As if I hadn't anything better to do. Every day the same filthy job. She should get a stable hand. Or that spoilt rich brat. He could do some work for a change. Hello. Huh? You've got something on your face. Huh? Oh, nothing. Forget it. Do you know if Mrs Miller is in? Don't even mention her. Leave me alone. You belong to the farm? What do you think? Does it look as if I'm just having some fun? Come on, George. We'd better go. Nice chatting to you, sir, but we have to move on. Mrs. Miller doesn't seem to be hearing us. Well, there you are. Better not, George. You might break a window pane. Hello there. You've got such a sweet dog. Hello. Who are you then? I'm Eddie. How old are you? I'm ten years old. Do you know if Mrs Miller is in? She's in, but she's got the radio on so loud she can't hear the doorbell. So we've noticed. But you let us in somehow. No, I haven't got the key. Do you live here? No, I'm just here on holiday. We've just got to see Mrs Miller urgently. Do you know the man out on the pasture? That must be Gregory. But you can forget him. He won't help you. Why? Oh, I just don't particularly like him. He's a bit strange somehow. Well, yes. I didn't think he was particularly friendly. We've got to find a way to talk to Mrs Miller. Hmm. Let's think now. If we wait until the music stops, we could ring the doorbell then and she'd hear us. And how do you expect to know when that is? We're not clairvoyant. We need a radio. We've got to tune the radio into the same station as Mrs Miller. Then we'll know when the music quietens down. Do you have a radio by any chance? Of course I have a radio. But not here, unfortunately. I'm only here on holiday. Mr. Loomer. Hello, children. What brings you here? We need a radio. Do you have one that we could borrow? I think so, yes. There might be an old one in the guest room. Just go inside. The door's open. Thanks. Mr. Luma probably meant this one. Does it work? It doesn't seem to have any batteries, but we'll just take it along anyway.
to be the right radio station. That's not the radio station Mrs. Miller's listening to. That's the wrong radio station. Yes, that's it. Well, I wonder what will happen now. We've just got to wait until the music becomes quieter. Good afternoon, Mrs. Miller. Good afternoon, George. What brings you this way? Mum said you'd fix us a picnic basket because we're camping at the One-Eyed Pirate. Yes, of course. Can you wait a minute? Um, and one more thing. Yes? There was a man just now who insisted we show him a permit allowing us to camp by the old inn. Could you let us have one, please? Oh, dear. Looks like good old James overdid it a bit. But I'll let you have something you can show him. Thanks. Wow! You're really good. What do you mean? Well, the way you managed to get Mrs Miller to come to the door, Actually, I just wanted to test you. Test us? Yes. In reality, I have a key, of course. But since I'm a detective, I wanted to see how good you were. Why? To see if you're qualified to join my detective club. Would you like to? Oh, well... Actually, we should be getting back to our friends, you know. I see. Could I come with you? Sorry, Eddie. You know you can't. And anyway, it's dinner time now. Hmm. But in that case, I'd like you to have something from my detective kit. Honestly. Oh, don't be like that, George. Come on, Eddie, show us. That's a really professional-looking outfit. You can choose something from here if you want to. I've got duplicates of a few things. You could put this inside an envelope, for instance, and whoever opens it will get inky hands. That's funny. Does it come off again? Yes, eventually. I'd love to play a trick on Dick with that. Could we have it? Well, actually... Mm, oh well. You can keep the magnifying glass. I've got an even better one, actually. You can make fingerprints visible with this. You can have it. No problem. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. We're friends now, aren't we? But what's your name, by the way? I'm Anne, and this is my cousin Georgina. But we all call her George. She hates it when you... Anne! And what's your dog's name? He's mine. He's called Timmy. But we really have to go now, Eddie. Maybe we'll see each other again soon. All right, then. Bye. Right, brother. Let's make a campfire. But really professionally, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. It means you're in command and I do the work. OK. Since that's been settled, you can start now.
Now we've got to make sure that the fire can't spread. Now we've got to pile up the wood nicely. OK, what do we put on first? Whatever will burn best, of course. That's right. Next now. Just the right thing for a little fire. Right, and now the top layer. You can always do with some firewood. Great, now we can light the fire. We're back again. Did you get the permit? Have you got something to eat? We've got everything. Thank goodness. At least all our work here hasn't been in vain. Can I have a sandwich? Help yourself. Mmm. Almost as tasty as Aunt Fanny's. Oh, blast! We need some water, quick. Otherwise everything here will burn down. You two go! We'll grab a few branches and try to keep the smouldering fire under control. This one's got a hole, but I think I might be able to plug it. Ah, perfect fit. The hole's blocked. We just need some water now. Ready. I'm back now, quick! Well? Everything's under control, but pour the water over the wood pile anyway, just to be on the safe side. Right. That should do it. Gosh, that was really close. Ah, I see you're still here. Have you got the permit? We have. Would you kindly show it to me?
Thank you. Hmm. Fair enough. I don't want to seem rude, but why is it so important to have a permit allowing us to camp here? I don't want to discuss it, but believe me, I've got my reasons. You can trust us. We'll keep it to ourselves. You can depend on that. It would be better if you didn't know why. You just want to be self-important. You're almost as cheeky as Eddie. Eddie? Isn't that the boy staying at the farmhouse? Right. Well then, I'll tell you. I'm Eddie's bodyguard. His father's a rich businessman from London, and there have already been several threats to kidnap him. That's why I have to protect Eddie. And that's why you're suspicious of every harmless camper here. Oh, well, I'm sorry if I was a bit rough with you just now, but that's part of my job. Actually, I had no intention of coming back here, but Eddie's disappeared once again. Shortly after you left, he just vanished into thin air. But that's terrible. And he wanted to come with us so badly. You're really worried about him, aren't you? Well, I can manage. Eddie's very adventurous. It wouldn't be the first time he vanishes and then just turns up again. He seems to enjoy keeping me on the go. Maybe we should look for him. You could do that, but as inconspicuously as possible, please. And please don't tell anyone about Eddie, because nobody actually knows he's over here, and I want to keep it that way. No problem. We'll have our dog search for him. We just need one of Eddie's clothing items. Mrs Miller could give you that. All right, then. I'll see you later. Hungry, are you? No, of course not. We just wanted to ask you if you could let us have one of Eddie's jumpers. What do you need it for? Okay. The real reason is that Anne's afraid she might be cold tonight. Oh, I see. Well, just wait a moment and I'll get you a jumper. George, that was a white lie. I know, but would you have thought of something better? But why something so silly? As if I was acting like a small child. Keep your shirt on, Anne. George just didn't want to say that. Here you are, darling. A nice warm jumper for you. This'll keep you warm. Thank you. You're welcome. And have a good time camping. Here you are, Timmy. Find it, Timmy. Go get it, boy. Timmy, not so fast. Where's Timmy off to? He might be onto a scent. A rabbit or a cat, maybe. Rubbish. Maybe he's found Eddie. On a tree? It's no use. We've got to follow him. And how, may I ask? The ditch happens to be a little too wide to jump over. In that case, we've got to think of something. I bet you'd like to know where to find materials suitable for building a bridge, right? Huh? What? You know, 
I've got a little bird that tells me these things. Can you help us or not? You must be completely blind if you came all this way to see me without finding the stuff. I beg your pardon? Just go back again. You can't miss it. along just in case. Great. Come on then. Oops. That's not very stable. Well, fatso, can't the boards take your weight? Try it yourself. Oh, never mind. We've got to make the boards more stable somehow. Um, hmm. How about building a suspension bridge? You're always good for a surprise, little sister. Let's see then. First, we've got to rig something on which to suspend the boards. Super! Now we just have to join the boards in the middle with the battens, so that they can't break anymore. Why? Because the beams will then carry your weight instead of the board stick. That's physics. And you knew that, Anne. Well, physics isn't just for boys, you know. George, why don't you look for something we could use for suspending? in the meantime? No, it, it's as if the earth swallowed him up. I'm starting to get really worried. My dog's picked up a scent over at the pasture. Maybe we'll find him there. I hope so. Otherwise I'll have to tell Eddie's father. I'll let you know soon. We just have to finish building our bridge. And for that I need a rope or something similar. Set. Who's risking it? Someone lighter than me, at any rate. Well, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? I'll do it. I'm the lightest. That was so easy. Come on over. Show us what you found then, Timmy.
But that's unbelievable. I can see something up in the tree. Is that the boy you've been talking about? It certainly is. That's him. Eddie, have you been sitting up there all this time? Eddie, come back down immediately. Why are you so mad? I just wanted to play a trick on James. You should be ashamed. James is worried about you, we're worried about you, and you just sit up there calm and contented. Don't get so angry with me. You've got no idea how bored I am. This kind of hide-and-seek game is my only bit of fun. Can't I go camping with you after all? You better hurry back to the farm so that James can stop looking for you. You could bring us our breakfast tomorrow and stay with us for a while. Thanks. See you tomorrow then. Just great. Now we'll have to start all over again. With the tiny difference that we don't have any more matches. But let's stack some more firewood first. Right, and now some twigs. Hurry up. Perfect. There you are. It takes an expert. We should make sure that we put some more logs into the fire, or it will go out again. Forget those. They're wet. Maybe there are some dry ones underneath. Hey, look at this. There's something under the wood pile. A secret door. Let me look. That's incredible. I wonder where the stairs lead to. We'll find that out right now. What do you mean? You can have three guesses, little sis. We're going down there right now. Oh, but it's pitch black down there. And we can forget about our torch because the batteries are dead. There you are. Now our fire's got reinforcements and we've got a torch. All right, let's go then. Timmy, you stay here and watch our campsite. Do you hear? I can't believe it. Do you know where we are? Looks like your cave, George. Elementary, dear Watson. Do you really think so? Dead certain. I just can't believe that I've never noticed this entrance before. This must have been the smuggler's route once. Starting from the cave, they could then transfer their secret goods up to their den without being noticed. Isn't that Timmy making such a racket out there? Come on. Something's wrong. Hey, Timmy, what have you got there? What's the matter? Hey, Timmy, it's me. Show me, what have you got there? I can't believe it. I've never seen Timmy act this way before. I've got to go after him. I've got to find out where he went. Uh, 
I must be dreaming. But isn't that a light shining in the one-eyed pirate? No, you're quite right. It does look like a light. But how could anyone get in there? The door's nailed shut and the windows are barred. Oh well, maybe it's just the glow from the campfire. What on earth is this? Hmm, looks rather strange. It's certainly not a footprint. Timmy! Thank goodness! Timmy, what's the matter? You're shaking. It's all right, boy. Everything's fine. I'm here. I'd really like to know what's been going on. Timmy doesn't normally act like this. Oh, he'll calm down again. But now that he's here, we can go to sleep. I'm dog tired. Dick's right, you know. It's past bedtime already. It's almost like being back home. <sighs> I slept marvellously. But it's about time Eddie showed up with the breakfast. There's someone coming, but it isn't Eddie. Morning, children. Have you seen a small boy by any chance? He's been missing since yesterday. I can't believe it. Do you mean Eddie? He already led us on a wild goose chase yesterday. Yes, I'm talking about Eddie. But I don't think it's a prank this time. His bodyguard was overpowered yesterday. And Eddie's room looks as if a struggle took place there. And you're sure this isn't one of Eddie's hide-and-seek games again? We heard he's quite imaginative. Well, yes. We've received a demand for ransom. And it doesn't look the work of a little boy. Hey! Remember the fuss Timmy kicked up last night? And after that, there seemed to be a light on at the One-Eyed Pirate. Where? In there? I simply can't believe that. How on earth can anybody get in there? The door probably hasn't been opened in years. Have you got the ransom note on you? Could we have a look at it? Well, yes. Where not? If you leave an envelope with half a million in the old drinking trough in the pasture by 12 o'clock tomorrow, the boy will be released. If not... What's that? Looks like red wine to me. Hmm. Isn't that dreadful? Poor Eddie. And you take this seriously? Oh yes, absolutely. That's also why I'm asking you to pull your tents down and spend the night at Mr. Loomer's until Mr. and Mrs. Kiran return. It's simply too dangerous here. But we've got a watchdog with us. I'm sorry, children. I can imagine you're disappointed, but it's just too dangerous. But there's four of us. We still don't know whether the culprits are armed. And even the four of you would be helpless there. But we're not afraid. I believe you. But that doesn't matter now. All right, then. I'll try to arrange some lodgings at Mr. Loomer's. Mr. Loomer has been informed. He's waiting for you. All right, then. Maybe this will all be over soon, and you'll be able to carry on camping. Okay. Let's strike our tents quickly and get off to the lighthouse. Hello, Mr. Loomer. Hello, children. Well, that's a bit of a sad end to your little camp, isn't it? I still can't believe it. Although I'm sure Eddie's just hidden himself somewhere again. I wouldn't jump to conclusions, George. Julian, could you bring the things inside, please? I'll just tidy up a bit here. Sure.
It's so unfair. This Eddie fellow is spoiling our whole trip. I don't know. The ransom note looked quite genuine. You know, that red wine stain. Weren't there some bottles lying around at the farm? Hmm, that's right. And now tell me honestly. Do you think little Eddie's clever enough to use this as a lure? Well, not really. Oh well, we've got to find out what's happening. That's the way I see it too. As far as I'm concerned, this looks more like the work of a stupid kidnapper than a good deception. So what's keeping the others? Oh. There you are at long last. Hello, children. I'm sorry, but I just haven't got any time for you now. You can see for yourselves that there's a lot to be done. Are those broken pieces of glass from Eddie's room? Yes. Oh, I've been blaming myself so much. Oh, come on now, Mrs Miller. If someone can knock out the bodyguard, you wouldn't have stood a chance either. Haven't you got anyone here to help you out? No. My son slipped away again for a change. Then we'll give you a hand with that now, won't we? What needs to be done, Mrs Miller? Do you really mean that? Oh, you're such wonderful children. Well then, the barn could do with a bit of tidying up. No problem. We'll do that in a jiffy. That's awfully nice of you. I'll go back inside then. There's such a mess in there. I've got a feeling this could come in handy later. Look! Here are the newspapers from which the letters were cut out. Here's some glue. Don't touch, Dick. There might still be some fingerprints on it. And how do you find out? Stop. Don't rub it in. It's got to be applied carefully with a brush. Try the brush, Dick. Well, just look at that. You were right, Julian. That's a big, fat fingerprint. Let's see now. Hmm. It's definitely not a child. We can deduce that the ransom demand was made here, but not by Eddie. Excellent, dear Watson. And what do we conclude from this? Eddie was indeed kidnapped. Indeed. That's why we've got to act fast. We do know what the kidnapper wants, don't we? And when he wants it, and that's immediately. So what's your plan? Quite simple. We pretend to hand over the ransom money and catch the fellow. Hmm. Could work. But we have to hurry. I suggest George and I get hold of an envelope and the both of you stay here and continue tidying up. Otherwise, Mrs Miller will become suspicious. And Timmy had better remain here with you as well. Hello, Mr. Loomer. Do you have
have an envelope we could use? Sorry, George, but I hardly ever write letters. I haven't got any envelopes. There's the key Mum's left for us. Have you found the key? Sure. Well, let's go inside then. This one should be the right size. Now we've still got to cut up the paper into little pieces and put it into the envelope. Can you see some scissors anywhere? of scissors, exactly what I've been looking for. We can start preparing the envelope now. And now, a small surprise for the special person collecting the letter. Ready. <whistles> Miss Luma probably can't help me either. Quick, George, put the envelope in, and then we'll have to hide somewhere. Now we'll have to hide ourselves somewhere. How about the tree stumps? They're big enough. OK. Come on, George, you two. Hide yourself. No chance of anyone coming if you just stand there, George. What's the matter? What do we do if no one comes? Why should... Shh! Someone's coming. What's all this mischief here? This isn't a playground. Oi! You there! What are you up to? Get lost! Go and play somewhere else. Now, now. 
Calm down, we're already on our way. Why are you back so soon? We haven't seen anyone running away yet. Well, unfortunately, something got in the way. Or rather, someone. That fellow Gregory spotted us at the pasture and told us to go away. My goodness! I can't believe it. Why does that character have to show up at precisely this moment? Our whole plan's gone astray now. Anne, what's got into you? Perhaps we should go back to the pasture again. If we're lucky, the letter hasn't been collected yet, and we can see something this time. Envelope's gone. Hey, have a look. Our friend actually tried to open the envelope straight away. <laughs> so his fingers aren't exactly clean now. But that's not much use to us. Gone is gone. Anne's right, you know. Basically, we haven't achieved anything. Eddie's bodyguard is coming. What shall we do now? Best thing is not to say anything yet. Hello, children. Have you heard yet? What? Eddie really was kidnapped last night. And I was knocked unconscious by the kidnappers. As if that wasn't enough, Eddie's father threatened that I would lose my job if I didn't bring his son back safe and sound. We'll help you. We'll comb the whole area again. Best thing's to split up once more and meet up again at the hideaway. You haven't found him either? Nope, not the slightest clue anywhere. We must have overlooked something. Might be, but we don't even know what we're supposed to be looking for. I think Timmy wants to tell us something. He whined in exactly the same way yesterday evening. Have a look at this. I think they're scratch marks. These could very well be Timmy's. What on earth did he want here? Hello? Are you waiting for me? Tell me, did you notice anything peculiar yesterday evening? Well, not exactly notice, but I found something. Found? What have you found? Tell me, go on. Nothing spectacular. A piece of cloth. Apparently, Timmy put it in front of my door because I heard him scratching at the door just beforehand. Are you sure it was Timmy? Not entirely. By the time I got to the door, he was gone. We've got to find out what this rag means. If Timmy did bring it, we're onto a hot trail. But we can find that out quite easily. Just give the rag to Timmy. We'll just see how he reacts. Good idea, Anne. Have you got the rag, Alf? Yes, here it is. Whoops. Hey, not so fast, Timmy. Thanks, Alf. Come on, everybody. After him. What's he doing there? 
He wants to show us something. What could that be? Gosh, we should have recognized this before. These could be marks made by a ladder. A large, heavy ladder. Do you mean that yesterday, while we were gone, someone used a ladder and climbed into the one-eyed pirate? Then we didn't just imagine the light we saw. There was someone in there. He might still be in there, the way Timmy's carrying on. We've got to go in there as well. Now, now, Timmy. We understood. Right, we need a rope. There's no other way. There's a key in there. That's got to be it. I'll bet it's the one. Thank goodness. About time, too. Right. Let's have a look then. I'll take this one along. A winch! Your father's obviously got big plans for this place, George. A nice, strong rope. Just what we're looking for. A pulley. I'll take it along. Who knows when it might come in handy. A pair of pliers can always come in handy. Well, do you have a rope? Would I have come back without one? I'll just climb up there and check if we can get in without trouble. It doesn't work! I'm slipping! Well, now what? <coughs> Made it! <coughs> the door's open! Well then, you coming up as well? I think it's better if I climb up there by myself. If you haven't heard from us in ten minutes, you'd better fetch the police. Sure. Look! There's Eddie! Hold on, Eddie! We're coming! Mm -hmm. What is it?
What's the matter with you? Mm. Afternoon, boys. Well, boys, you've walked straight into the lion's den. How very silly of you. What shall we do with them, Frank? Just tie them up first. Then we'll grab ourselves the two girls and their stupid dog. Too bad they didn't come along as well. We should post a sentry, shouldn't we? Anne, George, Timmy, run! Run away! Quick! I think it's working. We'll be free soon. <clears throat> Thank goodness. I'll just go and check that no one's about. Now ready. And then let's get out of here. Oh, phew. Thanks. Well, bad news. One of them is standing guard down there. Presumably to keep us from getting away. They're not quite as stupid as we thought. Hmm. Maybe there's another exit. Hey, just look at that. There's a secret door. Bother! Try it again, Dick. It's quite easy, but when I let go, it doesn't stay up. Maybe we should just pull the lever up there. You're right. It doesn't seem to be in its correct position. I can't reach it this way. I have to stand on something. Here you are. Try this. Ugh, it's totally jammed with rust. I can only move it an inch or so. Ready. It could work now. Here, you do it, big brother. Hey, it worked. Aren't we the best? It's staying up. The way's free. I'll have a look down here. Well, can you see anything? Yes, no. No exit, but a whole lot of junk instead. Nothing really useful, except maybe... What did you find? Oh, just some old tablecloths and a bar of soap. There we are. I hope the knots hold. I'll go upstairs now. Oh no! What is it this time? They're coming back! And they've got the girls! We've got to think of something fast! A trap! We've got to set a trap for them! I hope it works. Come on, we've got to hide. All right, you two. Now you can keep your friends company. Hey, what's going on? 
Just you wait. You'll be sorry when I catch you. Ha! Huh, he's trapped! Hey! You can't do that! Let me out of here! Blast! Drat. Looks bad. We should have guessed that this one here would be waiting for his mate. What do we do now? Hey! What are you up to? Hey! Come back here at once! Right. Quickly now. Have you got the rope? No. We've used it for the trap. But I've got a couple of knotted tablecloths. All right. Off we go. Well, we'll be safe here for now. I don't know, Julian. If Gregory and Frank find the secret door, they'll catch us faster than you think. But outside, we could bump into them at any time, and then we'd have to run for it. Well then, we'll do it like this. Eddie, Anne and I will stay here and block the staircase. There's no way the dirty scoundrels will find us from the beach. You two run as fast as you can and get help. Agreed. Come on, Dick. We haven't got much time. Right. And now what? Good question. I've got an idea. You've got the soap from the inn, haven't you? How about soaping the last few steps here? That'll turn them into a real slide. That's brilliant. We'll do that. Do you think you could fetch that, Anne? Then I can think of something else over here. All right, be right back. And now? I'm not sure. Do you have another good idea? Hmm, should we roll the rocks to block the entrance? No, they're too heavy. We could. Yes, that might work. What? Right, I'm back. Gosh, that's heavy. Anne, is the fishing boat there? Yes. Why? Eddie, be so kind and fetch one of the nets from the fishing boat, will you? All right. Right, that should do it. Come on, let me do that. I think I know what you're planning, George. Ouch! What's 
What's the matter? I slipped, and I think I've twisted my ankle. Come over here and sit down. That's enough soap on the floor already. And besides, I've just thought of something else. Do you think that'll hold? It has to, but I'm not ready yet. Right. Let them try to get out of this one. I think I can hear them. Oh dear. Much sooner than I thought. Oh no. And we can't run away. My foot's already all swollen. I thought of something else. What? Tell us, quick! It makes no sense. All right, you little runaways. You'll pay for this. Ah! Ah! Blast you! I've broken my leg. Ah! Ah, Gregory! Get those brats! You can depend on that, Frank. Get yourselves to safety. <laughs> Did you want to stop us with that? <laughs> You've still got a lot to learn. The game's up, you pests. You wouldn't want to abandon your little injured friend, would you? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, what's all this now? It sticks like glue. Just you wait till I get my hands on you. Eddie, run away, run! Timmy! Everything's all right, George. We're here. Dick, thank goodness. It was about time, too. And I thought they'd get us and lock us up again. Don't worry, miss. If anyone's getting locked up here, then it's those two fine gentlemen over there. I think you could probably use our help. I'm afraid they're in pretty bad shape. Ah! My leg! You've done a splendid job once again. Well, yes, but we've had some real help from Eddie. Tell me, Eddie, would you like to spend the rest of the holidays with us? Really? Of course. Wow! <laughs> <laughs>